Austin Red Sox hosting the New York Yankees. The Yankees are minus 135. On the money line, the Red Sox are plus 115. The over-under is nine runs. The Yankees laying a run and a half are plus 118, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. The Red Sox getting a run and a half are minus 140, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one like they did last night, you win. Tallian has pitched twice against the Red Sox this year. Five innings, six runs, six earned. They lost that game 11-6. to six. That was in Boston. Six innings, one run, one earned. They won that game 14-1 to one in New York. Waka has not pitched against the Yankees this year. He did pitch against them five times last year as a member of the Rays. Four innings, three runs, three earned. They lost that game 8-4-10. to four and ten. Six innings, no runs, no earned. They won that game 8-2 to two in New York. One and two thirds, one run, one earned. They won that 3-1 to one in New York. Five innings, one run, no earned. They lost that game three to ten. Three to one in ten, forgive me. Five innings, no runs, no earned. They lost that game one nothing in New York. The Yankees are on a one game winning streak. They are two and eight in their last ten. They are 31 and 27 on the road. They are 17 and 25 with Talion on the mound. The over is hit in his last two games. The over is 12 and 10 in the games in which he pitches in. The Yankees are 51, 53 and 61 on the run line. So they are under 500 by eight games if you've been betting them getting or laying runs. The Red Sox are on a one game losing streak. They are three and seven in their last 10. They are 28 and 30 on the road. They are nine and five as a team with Waka on the mound. The under is seven, five and two in the games in which he's pitched in this year. And the Red Sox are 58 and 57 on the run line, meaning if you've been betting that way, you're one game over 500. Head to head, these teams are five and five against each other in the last 10. The underdog getting a run and a half is seven and three. There have been six one run games in their last 10 meetings, including the last two games that they played against each other. The last two games they played against each other went under. However, the over is seven and three, and the over nine specifically is six, three, and one. Waka's ERA is better. Talion kind of got lit up when he pitched against the Red Sox in Boston, and he hasn't been the same in the second half. So I'm going Red Sox with the money line, Red Sox with the runs, and the over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.